Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney here today to talk to you about diagrams in Quizlet. Let's take a look. So if we click create to create a Quizlet deck as we normally would, we can add and label a diagram. So you choose an image. Let me just choose one real quick and I will choose this World War I map. And now I can add points. And when I add a point, that is where I add my definition. And once you do that, you can then uh, add an image as well. What does this look like when it's all said and done? So this is my French Revolution political spectrum one. This image, by the way, I created in Canva. It's right here. I'll put the link to this image in the description. And so I put points along there. And if you notice, I have the, the term and the definition. Oh, let's go here, science lots. And then in the actual definitions, I also have images. So to play this as a student, let's do that. I put this in a, an incognito window and let's do the learn real quick. So we click on the learn activity. And let's, so here it says Declaration of Rights of Man and Citizen. Where do I think that falls? I have four choices on the diagram. I will say liberals and I am correct. Press any key to continue. Tennis court oath will say that's between liberal and moderate and that's correct. And you see that's how it works. There's, this also looks really nice for matching. So if I click matching, I have to make these all disappear. So Declaration of Rights and Man, make that liberal, gone. Congress of Vienna, gone. Robespierre, gone. Sans culottes, gone. Tennis court oath, gone. And King Louis was gone. What's really cool is that when you do it the second time, if you play again, it's the definition and not the term. And oh, and as you see, yeah, it actually takes away if you do it a third time, it usually actually gives you these definitions with the image in the background and the political spectrum line. Here, it's just a matching, which is kind of cool for a touchscreen Chromebook. So here, like King Louis, I would click and drag him there. Okay, that's okay. That's not terrible. It's not great. It's at least something fun. Let's say, here, let me try to do something incorrect. And he tells me it's doing it incorrect. So that I kind of like. And for touchscreen Chromebooks, that is kind of nice. So there's a little bit of a win there. Now, what I would like, though, is a little critical thinking piece. I don't have an ability for students to argue any of these placements on the political spectrum. I don't have an ability for students to tell me, say, where would Napoleon belong on this political spectrum? So here's what I did for that. I, in my Google site where I house my French Revolution resources, I embedded this Quizlet deck, which you can now do in the new Google sites. And then I just made a Google form. Tell Mr. Mulaney, He's wrong, and I basically asked the students, please tell me one term on this political spectrum that I'm not correct about and build an argument. And then here, the second Google form, place Napoleon on the political spectrum, tell me where Napoleon belongs and why. So that gives it a little bit of critical thinking for the students. So Quizlet diagrams here, I use it for the political spectrum. You can use it all sorts of applications. I've seen a lot of Quizlet decks with diagrams for science. If you have any questions about this, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.